Okay, in this scheme of reaction, uh, we have to identify x, y, and z. So let us copy first the problem. So we have first reaction is acid base reaction. So this is a base and this is acid. So first reaction is acid base reaction. So you will have BaSO4 plus H2CO3. You see the next step. So Mg will react with this and it will form a Grignard reagent MgBr. And now it attacks on X and X is coming from the step 1. So what should be X? And if Grignard reagent attacks, then this means it can either attack on CO kind of bond. So this hints that X must be CO2. So let us see these reactions. You have BaCO3 and this carbon is radioactive carbon. So this carbon is radioactive carbon that is C4, C14. So you will have plus H2SO4 and first it will form BaSO4 plus H2CO3 and carbon will be radioactive carbon and this molecule is not a stable so it, this will break into H2O plus CO2 and this is radioactive carbon so this will H2CO3 is unstable, so it will dissociate into H2O plus CO2 and carbon is radioactive. Now let us say the next step, so this will first form a Grignard reagent. So we will have CH2 double bond CH MgBr. So this is the first step, Grignard reagent formation are reacting with Mg. Now if this react with X and X is nothing but CO2. So this is my X, X is CO2, are you getting? Now if this reacts with CO2, you know, this will attack here and this opens up. So you will have CH2, double bond, CH, and then you will have C double bond O and one O minus. Are you getting? Now if you re hydrolyze this in the third step, H3O plus, so you will have acid. So if you react with H3O plus, so you will have CH2. Yeah, in all cases you see this carbon is radioactive carbon and this carbon will be radioactive carbon. CH2 double bond CH COOH. This carbon is radioactive carbon. Now the next step is lithium aluminum hydride. There is a reduction agent. And LiLH4 is a strong reducing agent. It even reduces the acids. It will not reduce the double bond. It will reduce the acid. So you will have CH2 double bond CH. And acid will be reduced to alcohol. So you will have CH2OH. Now the next part of the question says, when compound Z is treated with HBr, one of the product is formaldehyde H2CO. So let us treat Z with HBr and do ozonolysis. So this is my Z. Is it getting or not? So now question says, formaldehyde as one of the product when compound Z is treated with HBr and subsequent ozonolysis. So let us treat this compound with HBr. What you will get? 
So this carbon is radioactive carbon because this is coming from this carbon. So now if you have CH2 double bond CH, CH2OH, now if you treat with HBr, in the first step this will lose H2O and it will form a carbocation CH2 double bond CH CH2 and this carbon is radioactive carbon so it will have a carbocation this and now this carbocation can be resonance stabilized so this goes here so you will have this carbon can also contain positive charge CH2 plus and then CH double bond CH2 are you getting In the next step B or minus can attack. So if B or minus attacks, you will have here B R that is attached in the first compound. So let me write CH2 double bond CH CH2 B R and in another compound this will attack on this carbon. So we will have two products CH2 and this carbon is a radioactive carbon. And in this case, it will attack on this carbon CH2 CH double bond CH2. Now, question says ozone analysis of these two compounds. So, if I do ozone analysis, so if I do ozone analysis, what I will have CH2 Br CHO and then this side HCHO. Are you getting or not? So, plus HCOH. And this carbon will be radioactive carbon. And if I do ozone analysis of this, reductive ozone analysis, so this we have done ozone analysis reductive. In this case, I will have HCHO plus CHO. Are you getting? So I will have CHO plus CH2Br. So you see the question says if Z is treated with HBr and further subsequent ozone analysis reductive gives HCHO and that contains a radioactive carbon this can be verified using this mechanism. So now if you follow this if carbocation rearranges or you can say carbocation has a two resonating structure in this case if you do ozone analysis of this molecule you will get a uh, you will get a formaldehyde that is radioactive. Are you getting or not? So some of the formaldehyde that you will get after ozone analysis will be radioactive and of course some of you will get that is not radioactive. So now you can say in mixture you will have a formaldehyde that is radioactive. So somebody says explain the formation of radioactive formaldehyde then we have only one possibility that is this carbocation has formed this carbocation and this carbocation had rearranges or you can say it has a another resonating structure and this resonating structure Br minus attacks here and if I do breaking of this bond I will get a uh, in this case if I do breaking of this bond so you see here so if I do breaking of this bond this bond I will get not a radioactive formaldehyde but if I do breaking of this bond I will get a radioactive formaldehyde so this is the so formation of radioactive carbon formaldehyde formation of HCHO a star can be explained on the basis of resonance can be explained by resonating structures. Okay, we'll discuss the next problem.